Yes, hello, welcome to Daily Boost. Yes, Dr. Charles Diffin. And uh, I had to get in, uh, in or just, I just arrived from Pennsylvania via New York. And uh, I thought, I'll have to come and see you wonderful folks today that have joined me. We don't want to start the week missing two days. I uh, apologize. Yesterday we had to take care of something very important. We were doing the, we were celebrating the life of our brother Joe Masico, wonderful man of God that had traveled with us for so many years with his wife, Pastor Jean, and Apostle Everton was there, everybody was there. It was tremendous um, blessing to see all the people he had taught sharing testimonies. What a legacy. I want to thank God for all the people that worked, make sure that uh, everything was handled very well. Pastor Jean, we love you. You are just precious to us. We love you very, very much, and thank you for always being so gracious and your hospitality to us. Apostle Everton, Pastor Tracy, hey, we love you guys. We had a great time just being with you guys again. So I can't wait to see you guys very soon. But we are talking today about this is called Transformation Tuesday. Transformation Tuesday. And um, we are again on our daily boost with the same topic. But before we go there, um, we're talking about on the Christ on searchable riches. But before we go there, uh, we want to get everybody up to speed with what um, um, some of the things that we have coming very very soon of course i know a lot of you know um some of the programs we have coming we have the power school of miracles coming around the corner and i, I want to acknowledge some of you that have uh, that are watching me already um thank you for joining us today i know we've been trying to uh, sort out the whole the whole um um video here I'm making sure i have everybody on board here thank you very much i have chris from Dexter, Iowa. Hallelujah. And uh, we have uh, uh, Evangelist Gutwing. We have Pastor Brian, Dr. Brian. And we have uh, Lucy, Vanessa, Angela. We have, um, my goodness, I see we have uh, Linda. Praise God. My goodness. God is so great. So I'm just checking, making sure I check some of those that are on there. So like I said, I just came straight from New York City and um, quite some rain. We've got to make it to the Daily Boost to make sure I can, I can be in touch. And I see Apostle Helen, love you, love you, love you. Angela, God bless you. Great job on, on, on Sunday with the children. And we have Emmanuel Paul. We can't wait to see you all the way from Austria. We can't wait to see you in the, in the power school hallelujah my goodness and Auge, god bless you and uh, Auge asked a great question we're going to take it up from there um uh, we'll be showing some great video uh today and um i hope that you'll be blessed by it we have paul moray god bless you i have tina davidson god bless you so what we're going to do is i'm going to get started um we have this amazing video from uh mongolia the mongolia uh, miracle campaign we had 116,000 people that came to the meetings. Tremendous crowd of people that came to the meeting. It was such a delight. Um, we had um, our team from Australia, our team from Germany, Switzerland, and also the Mongolian team that did an excellent job organizing these meetings. So we had come to this, um, this other place in Mongolia. We came to the capital city at first, and uh, the people were telling us, well, all the pictures you're showing is from Europe. And I thought, okay, give us um, a couple of days. We're coming back to the press conference. So we decided to go out to where the people were. And um, <laughs> it, was, it was wild. I see, Gustav, God bless you. I'm glad you joined us. Hallelujah. <laughs> we're not coming to, going to Paris. Oh, hopefully we can make Paris very soon. It was just uh, postponed for a short time, but hopefully we can get everything done. Now, this is what happened. We, we were in Mongolia, so I, I believe it must have been uh, either Dakhan or Erdenet, a place called Dakhan or the place called Erdenet in, um, in Mongolia. And so when we were there in the stadium, because we did uh, several stadiums, we did two stadiums in Mongolia, and while we were there, this man was carried in in a horse-drawn carriage. A lady found this man out in the street, carried this man into the meeting because she had compassion on him, 
carried this man into the meeting and in a short time we're going to show you the video but let me set it up before you get it you're going to see the video it is very exciting so they brought the man to the meeting i didn't know he was there they just put him on the side of the big speakers in the stadium and while i preached you see sometimes i like to go back many many years and just bring some of those amazing testimonies of god so this man he was um laying laying on the ground in the corner and his legs crippled just i mean paralyzed from the waist actually from the chest down they had surgically removed his spine you get to see it a little bit they had surgically removed his spine part of his vertebrae in the back where we actually extracted and that was why the man was paralyzed he was a beggar out in the street but jesus had compassion <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness um jesus had compassion on this precious man the man was listening to me while he was listening the power of god came on the paralyzed man and he got up and he began to walk what a marvel it was let's roll that video and i want to share with you the wonders of heaven this is transformation tuesday let's get the volume up earlier in the service he was crawling on his, his knees he could not walk at all i just want you to watch it by yourself let's go he was dragging himself on the ground but tonight the man is standing my friend stand look at this look at his legs the whole leg is simply like it's even rotting away he, he was crawling my friend are you crawling were you crawling? Were you crawling on the ground? Were you, were you the one crawling over there? He was the one crawling down there. But stand up, my friend. Stand up. Stand up. Look at this. Let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was crawling on this. This is wonderful. Uh, come on. You guys take him across. Let him walk a little bit. Two years. It's wonderful. And forever, Jesus is alive and well, yesterday, today, and forever. What a marvelous miracle to see! My goodness. Hallelujah. When people talk to us and they said, "Ah, oh, well, those things is just psychology. This is not psychology. If the psychologists cannot make things like this happen, then you know God is real. You can argue all the doctrines, but you cannot argue a demonstration. But uh, my friends, this is what we've been saying, and this is what, if you're connected to this ministry, this is your inheritance. It is in your spirit spirit hallelujah so we are talking about this um, when we see this kind of things um, the kind of miracles we've seen around the world uh, I thought we start bringing some of those miracles to you that way you can understand the depth of Jesus that we have experienced we can go through our archives and find things I can tell you literally every day we get up we just take one we take one um, hard drive it contains 
tens of thousands of miracles we have forgotten about. So I thought it's a good thing, since we have this broadcast daily boost, I want to show you some things. That way, any limitation you have concerning what God can do can be broken and you can experience the fullness of what God can do today. Hallelujah. I hope that this has blessed you. Hallelujah. We're talking about unsearchable riches of Christ. How you can get this thing to your spirit. Hallelujah. Where you can get these things, this riches that is in you. Hallelujah. And we were talking about understanding the point of discovery. We started out last Friday. We we're talking about um, that you are God's building, you are God's field, and you are God's partner. You are co laborers with God, and you are actually God's building or God's house. You are God's treasure house. And God has some amazing things. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I see Gustav says, I want to see more. We have so much, but we want to teach you, and we can bring as much as we can. We have very new ones. Miracles happen literally every day. So once in a while, we pick up something, and it's amazing to see. I see my friend apostle david taylor is on welcome on board man of god we are talking about discovering god's treasures in you hallelujah and i say to you the bible declares that the word of god is light it's a lamp i say to you last week that how god gets you to discover things is by giving you the light of the word that's why you have to love the word of god you take the word of god and it begins it becomes a search light on the inside of you and you begin to make discoveries for recovery second corinthians 4 verse 7 verse 6 begins is it for god would command the light to shine out of darkness now shines in our hearts to give a light of the knowledge of the glory of god that was on the face of jesus verse 7 says for we having this treasures in earthen vessels so that the excellency of the power may be of god and none of us now what am i saying to you you see god wants you every individual person to discover the treasures he's put in them he doesn't want us admiring the treasures just in what he's put in one person he wants each of us to make a discovery for recovery a discovery from re for recovery and I say to you whenever you ask God a question he gives you his word every solution that comes from God is a word solution that means the way God comes to you is through the seed of his word when you hear his word you see the picture it's transferred into your human spirit that is that is the 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 depository of god i'm going to share that a little bit with you today we are talking the subtext is understanding the human spirit understanding your spirit you understand what this treasure is i told you last week about how the queen of denmark took me and my team and we were working on the the the, the palace the royal palace in Copenhagen and we we're looking at all the crown jewels and, and the jewels are the, the treasures of her family the royal family every royalty they have a treasure house with the display all of these treasures second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 for we have these treasures in earthen vessel so that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. In other words, God's treasures are locked up in you. And I was talking about this last week. Hallelujah. And I said every solution is a word solution. Hallelujah. Every solution is a word of God solution. God has, God has his word for every situation. Hallelujah. Every solution must be a God solution. Every solution must be a God solution. So when we make the discoveries, we begin to have absolute recovery. The reason why a lot of people today have still not recovered from the devastation of the enemy is because they have not made 
made discoveries of what God has put in them. They can admire a great man of God or others that are successful, but it is our duty to help those people also discover the treasures of God in them. As much as sometimes we want to tell people we are really anointed of God. That's wonderful. But we have to help those people also to see what God has put in them too. Hallelujah. I think it is a necessary thing for the body of Christ to learn how to inspire others to aspire to God's best. That's what I'm talking about. I hope you understand what I'm talking about today. The Word of God shines from within by, by the unseen into every environment. The most natural light of life. I think one of you got it last week and uh, there was a great question that Auge had asked and the question is what is the point of discovery I like that I told him that he has started something that is dangerous the point of this where do we start to discover so I decided today while I was driving from New York coming back from New York enjoying my time in the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost just giving me some good stuff and the uh, Holy Ghost wanted me to bring something to you. What is the point of your discovery? And uh, the Holy Ghost said, add it and make it too. What is the point of your discovery? And where is the place of your discovery? Where do you discover this amazing thing that God has put on the inside of you? And what is the point? What, what is the entry point to start making the discovery? Hallelujah. It's very simple. And I'll be dealing with both of them today. The place of your discovery and the point of this discovery. The place of your discovery is the human spirit. The point of your discovery is the word of God. Now, you've got to understand these two concepts. The place is your spirit. The point is the word of God. Hallelujah. The Bible talked about you are born of the incorruptible word. The Bible talked about the word of God is a light. The word of God is a lamp. It talks about the word of God. It is like, like uh, it talks about the strength of the word of God. The place is your spirit. That's why the point is the word. When you take the point of the word and place it in the place of your spirit, it shines a light and you make discoveries for your recovery. <laughs> Hallelujah. I see, I see. Uh, BBG is on. Hallelujah. <laughs> see, listen. This is the beginning of your discovery. This is the beginning of your discovery. I see the man of God, um, Evangelist Kufre Abassi. God bless you and congratulations on the amazing book launch and it was wonderful. Thank you for sending me those amazing pictures. I'm always proud of you. Uh, whenever I see the exploits you're doing for Jesus, I get excited and, <laughs> and I am just enthralled by what God is doing with you. So I can't wait to see you at the power school. Last power school we had a great time and I'm looking forward to it. Hallelujah. The place of discovery is your spirit. The point of discovery is the Word of God. When you intersect with the Word of God, you enter the Word of God and when you enter the Word of God, you go into the Spirit of God and when you get into the Spirit of God, you find the Spirit wants to make His abode in you. Hallelujah. 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 And uh, I know we have Annalie. He's to pray for my daughter. Daughter-in-law and Patricia, uh, Pat Patricia and my son. I'm blessed them with a child. Now I'm going to speak and release the word to your daughter-in-law. And she shall be 
with a child. Hallelujah. She shall be with a child. Before this month is up, she will discover she's pregnant. Hallelujah. That case is settled. You don't have to worry about it. There shall be none barren amongst our land, and none shall miscarry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall not lose your, 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 your seed from its roots. From today, there'll be no barrenness in your lives. In the name of Jesus. And I see Eric. <laughs> Welcome on board. We are talking about the place and the point of your discovery. Where you can discover in the human spirit. The human spirit. The place and the point of your discovery. Where God, how can you discover the treasures in you? Where is the place that the treasure is? And what is the point of discovery? And Oge had a good question. He says, where is the point? Where is the point of our discovery? Where is the point of discovery? And I say to you, that the way God does things, remember this, it is very important to understand how the human spirit is. The recreated human spirit, the one that is born of the spirit, the one that is born of God, born by the spirit of God, that spirit has everything that God is already locked up as a treasure from God to you. So what happens is when you're born again, God comes into your human spirit and begins to manifest himself into your spirit and your spirit now tells the mind to re be, be transformed or be changed to conform to the spirit of God and then your mind tells your body to go into action and your body responds accordingly hallelujah I hope you understand how that works Rehema I, I love my my beautiful daughter and my big 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 son son-in-law <laughs> that's my son too hallelujah I I love you guys the, the Nielsen's all the way from Denmark God bless you and we have uh, Massey Oh, I love those beautiful children that you always show their pictures. I love that. That's so beautiful. I'm so proud of my, my sons and daughters. Hallelujah. So I'm talking about understanding the place and the point of your discovery. When you discover the place of discovery, when you make discoveries, you start your recovery. You begin to recover every lost ground that the enemy has attacked you with. Anytime, for example, he attacked your health, he attacked your finances, he attacked your relationships, he attacked your dreams, whatever the enemy has attacked, the moment you make discoveries of the treasures in you, for we have these treasures in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The day you begin to discover those things, Something amazing begins to happen to you. You begin to find out you are a genius. Are you hearing me? You are more than who you think you are. You are a sign and a wonder. You are a marvelous creature. I'm talking about today is Transformation Tuesday. Are you hearing me? Transformation Tuesday. As you hear this, your mind begins to change, your thinking, your body begins to change, and it begins to resonate to a new frequency, the frequency of God. All around you, things begin to happen. And by the way, I want you to begin to share this message with as many people as possible. We want to see so many people blessed by this. From Friday till today, I want to see many people blessed by this. We are making discoveries for recovery. We're talking about his unsearchable riches in Christ. Christ's unsearchable riches. And we talk about the place, your human spirit, where God has put all of those treasures. Hallelujah. God is so smart. He puts everything you need for success within you. No wonder Jesus says, the kingdom is within you. Revelation unlocks the dimension of glory you walk in. If you have revelation on healing, you have, you have uh, uh, you've made a discovery on healing, you start walking in divine health. The same thing, you make a, a, a discovery of prosperity. Hallelujah. The glory of the king is the wealth of the king. The glory of the king is the wealth in his kingdom. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Ephesians 1.18, it says, it's inheritance. 
his inheritance in the sense and I say to you last week I say to you your, the human spirit is God's depository of all the treasures in Christ no wonder the Bible says Christ in you is the hope of glory and last week we were talking about this my goodness we we're talking about understanding you are God's field you're God's building and you're God's partner when you understand those three things you are God's field of dream you are God's building his headquarters when you get there all of God gets there and the headquarters is open for business and then you are God's field of dreams you're God's husbandry that's where he plans his finest ideas all of those things are locked up in you do you realize that all of those things are locked up in you and you can actually begin to make discoveries of what God has put in you you find that the Bible says in Ephesians 2 verse 10 it said for you are God's workmanship or masterpiece created in Christ the wisdom of God you are created in wisdom in Christ Jesus for good works my dear friends you are designed for good stuff you are designed for amazing stuff you're designed for big stuff not the small stuff that you you you've been scrounging around uh, crawling around and scratching for you are designed for big things and big things are designed for you hallelujah hallelujah whenever you have a fresh revelation you unlock a new dimension in your life you begin to discover I am not helpless I am not hopeless I am not without I have all that I need I can do all things because it's Christ within me that is energizing me isn't that wonderful that Christ is in you I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me hallelujah you begin to think fresh your mind begins to take on a new way and you begin to see amazing solutions coming to your world when the people around you cry out for problems cry out because of problems you can smile and said relax the answer has come God has sent me as the solution to your problems and things will begin to take place that will blow the minds of people hallelujah are you hearing me it doesn't matter what you're facing today relax it's getting it's gonna get better listen to me every day something will fire you up it's transformation Tuesday something on the inside of you will come alive when you hear the good things that God has for you we don't want to over spiritualize this I'm talking about practicalizing and making tangible the intangible things that we've heard hallelujah you begin to understand there are different things available in you your heart is the factory where God's finest dreams are being programmed is the place you receive from God my goodness we're talking about today the sub subtext is the place and the point for discovery the place for discovery is your spirit the point of discovery is the word when you when the word comes into your spirit and you receive that word immediately the Holy Ghost now begins to illuminate the word on the inside of you and you can say hmm I see hmm something has happened hmm it's a different world something on the inside of you gets excited about this new life hallelujah something about you you need to share this with the world let the world understand what I'm talking about this is fresh food from heaven God is doing something new is giving you something amazing that you can go make our world a beautiful place don't be like one of those Christians trying to run around and uh, talking about how bad how the East Coast of the United States is gonna go under let me tell you it's not gonna go under because I'm here hallelujah I hear all this nice well-meaning sounding prophetic words talking about doom and gloom would God destroy the place where a righteous man is impossible I have a deal with him he doesn't destroy anything he knows when he sees me he said I got my act together I think uh, I know that Charles will handle business for me hallelujah we are God's business <laughs> tasty teaser thank you <laughs> it's a tasty teaser you're getting a good taste of good stuff I like that hallelujah you see God is not gonna destroy things if you're there 
He's not going to destroy things if you say, listen, Dad, we have a deal. The deal is, why would it destroy your son and your daughter if they know who they are? We take charge of earthquakes. We take charge of hurricanes. We take charge of things. We are discovering new things for new recoveries. I hope you understand. We are raising up a revolution of lovers. People that can go and show the world the realities of Jesus. I was having a conversation with one of my daughters earlier today, and she was telling me how those people that started in our fellowship back in Nigeria, and they went away to other places and began to hear other doctrines and began to hear other things, and how they are so changed to become more like what they're hearing, and they're, they can't even believe that God can do the impossible anymore. And they're thinking about those things, and I could think about it, I said, my God, stay on the good stuff. Stay on the good news. It is where the power is. You cannot go down when you keep hearing the good news all the time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about today. God is spirit. And you can only contact God by spirit. It's spirit to spirit. A person that is not born again, they need the word of God. You're born again by the word of God. The, the place is your spirit then the word of God comes and that's the point of entrance you're born of incorruptible seed when the word of God comes into your spirit the moment you believe it a new life comes a new heart a new spirit comes on the inside of you that carries the very nature of deity all of a sudden the world around you begins to get excited with you because you are a carrier of the glory of God the glory of God has come in a human vessel today do you understand what I'm talking about God is a spirit and you can only contact God by the spirit but we have to understand the place and the point the point is the word somebody that is dead that does not have the spirit of God in them they need the point where they can have the spirit of God the place so when the spirit of God comes in he comes with all of God himself and then some amazing things begin to take place are you with me and that some amazing things begin to take place what am I saying to you you understand when the spirit comes see the word of God comes that's the point and then when the word of God comes and you receive it the spirit of God takes that word and takes all that God is and brings that to your human spirit and then your human spirit now comes alive with the very life of God and then something amazing begins to happen to you the place of the discovery is the human spirit the point of the discovery is the Word of God where the Word of God intersects with the human spirit something happens it brings illumination and then it brings revelation and then it brings illumination and then brings revelation a never-ending flow of illumination revelation revelation more in the illumination and then you begin to find that God begins to reveal himself in your body in everything you do I'm gonna give you a couple of scriptures to help back that up that way when you're talking to people people will come alive hallelujah hallelujah I know Sunday was Father's Day Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. You're doing a fantastic job. And uh, those of you that are still learning, keep pushing. Your, your family is a jewel from God. It's a crown from God. You take care of them and take care of the world also. Hallelujah. See, once you have elimination, revelation comes out of you. And once you have revelation, it feeds your illumination the light shines brighter I hope you understand what that is all about today hallelujah something on the inside is coming alive in you now the, as I'm speaking to you now something on the inside of you is coming alive now the Bible declares the Spirit of God best witness let's look at Proverbs 20, 20 verse 27 it says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching all the inward parts of the belly hallelujah oh come on now I just I, I'm just getting excited I drove 
three and a, almost four hours from New York just to come and give this to you. Hallelujah. See, God loves you very much and he wants you to experience a dimension you've never seen. He said, the spirit of a man, your spirit is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward part of the belly searching all the inward part 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 you gotta pay attention searching all the inward part of the belly why is that important why do I have to repeat that over and over I tell you why this is why you listen to this pay attention for out of your belly shall rivers <laughs> when you have made a search you made discoveries and then out of your belly shall flow rivers plural rivers of living water to bless the world all of a sudden something is coming out of you it begins with the spirit of man is a candle of Lord and the spirit begin to search the inward part of the belly why is it searching the inward part of the belly because in the inward part of the belly that's where the rivers are flowing out of and where is the, what is the source of the river Romans 5 5 tells you for the love of God has been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit it is the Holy Spirit it is the, the reason why the river is inside of you is because the Spirit of God has come to make its abode in you. It becomes, your human spirit now becomes the house. The house is the outer case of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost comes into your recreated spirit and then inside of you is Christ. In that spirit is Christ. The spirit of Christ comes on the inside of you and something begins to happen. You begin to operate totally different from how you used to. Your body used to be sick. It stopped being sick. You used to fail. You couldn't read. All of a sudden you're reading. Why? There is something on the inside of you energizing you. All of a sudden you didn't start this in school. Something on the inside begins to tell you. Have you ever realized sometimes you do things before you even realize this in the Bible, why? The Spirit of God is at work in you. God is working big on the inside of you, both to will and to do of His good pleasures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today is Susie's birthday. Susie, our, our wonderful associate, we want to say a happy birthday to you, sweetie. We love you. Hallelujah. We, we believe in what God has put on the inside of you. Now, your spirit houses the Holy Ghost who is the outflow of the river of God. He is the source of that river on the inside of you. So the Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. It shines out is the candle. God's candle is your spirit and the word of God is light and lamp. Guess what happens when the word comes in the place is your spirit. The, the point is the word of God. When you take that word and believe that word and act on that word all of a sudden you go from place from point to place from place to flow and from flow to impartation you begin to impart to others you begin to impact others and then the world will see the display of the unsearchable riches of Christ the treasures of God on the inside of you I hope that this is helping you today uh, hallelujah I hope that this is helping you today. Something is happening. The place is your spirit. The spirit of man is a candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Hallelujah. The point. So the word of God comes into your spirit. And when your spirit believes it, the Holy Ghost recreates your spirit. You have a new spirit. He brings his spirit put that in your spirit he comes alive now to the things of God and then what happens the Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 16 it said the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit point place the point is the Word of God and then the Spirit of God on the inside of you now bears witness to the Word of God that you hear and activate something it's like a trigger mechanism and this explosion of 
revelation of illumination comes to you by the Spirit. The Spirit itself best witness with our spirit. In other words, it says that we are the children of God. That means when you don't feel like it, the Holy Ghost says you are the Son of God. You are the daughter of God. It bears witness. It says, I'm a witness. I know you are from God. Even when you're not, you're not sure of it, maybe you're doubting yourself, maybe you're, you're feeling down, and then the Holy Ghost says, no, you are royalty. And it bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of deity. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You find out something on the inside of you begins to happen, and you cannot, you, you cannot contain yourself because you get a boost from the Holy One. Hallelujah. Hear what the Bible says. And if we are children, then we are heirs of God, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Whatever is in Christ is also in me. Whatever Christ can do, so can you. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. The Bible says, if so be that we suffer with him, if so be, it's a condition, if so be that we suffer with him. Did you suffer with Christ when he suffered? Yes, you did that we also may be also glorified together when he is glorified are you glorified yes for god has glorified his son jesus and his the spirit of glory now rests upon you i hope you understand what that is the spirit of glory now <laughs> <laughs> it rests upon you. Hallelujah. You are, <laughs> I love this, as he is, so are you. Exact, exact spitting image of your daddy. Hallelujah. He is success, so are you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. It said, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit in us, so the kingdom of God has come inside of you and the package, the treasure of God is on the inside of you and something is happening on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And then before you realize it, the Bible says, but God has revealed the things that eyes have not seen unto us by his spirit. How does he do that? For the spirit searches all things. The spirit searches all things. The spirit searches all things. And the Bible says, hallelujah, the spirit of man is a candle of the Lord, searching all the inward part of the belly. Uh, Proverbs 20 verse 27. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2.10, it says, but the spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God, the same way the human spirit searches all the things about the human spirit, so does the Spirit of God, such as all things that is in God. So now, if the Spirit of God is in you, is in your spirit, the Spirit of God in you will search everything about God and then hand that over to your human spirit that will search everything in the inward part Oh my goodness, I think this is good preaching. <laughs> we'll search everything in your, in, in the inward part of the belly, where the rivers are coming from, and then you will have all this information to act upon. You will have an advantage in your life. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Something on the inside of you. Hallelujah. Something on the inside of you begins to give birth. I asked the question last week. Do you know how to give birth to a miracle? We're going to address that hopefully this week or next week. Do you know how to give birth to a miracle? You can produce miracle. You can give birth to a miracle. Hallelujah. Whatever miracle you need, you can give birth to a miracle. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes I get so busy and I, the first thought that comes to my mind is this. Should I just do daily boost and just do it like 10 minutes and I'm done? But I think about those of you that may not have spiritual food somewhere else to eat, you can eat from the king's table. You can, he has made it available to you so that we can come, we have to pay our staff, we have to do a lot of things so that we can get this thing to you. Why do we do that? Because you are worth the investment from heaven. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm talking about today? You are worth the investment. If you're worth the investment, do you realize your worth? Do you realize your worth? 
Do you realize how much God values you for you to hear this? It tells me he really believes so much about what he's put in you that if you can get a hold of this, my dear friends, you would become a sign and a wonder in your world. I hope that this is helping somebody get a hold of this today. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh my goodness the spirit of glory rests upon you the spirit of glory rests upon you now hear what the Bible is saying see there are two things you can do I can come and just minister to you God or do this and do that that's fine but how about you getting a transformation to become what you're looking for and it comes through the preaching of the word as you're hearing it you're being transformed so that at the end of the day you don't really need me to pray for you you already changed to what you've been praying for hallelujah come on let's scale this thing up let's move it to another dimension hallelujah that's what I'm talking about <laughs> is all please pray for me you are so loaded you are so full you are so full of vigor your body is designed to resonate on the frequency of God hallelujah you become what you're looking for while you listen you're transformed by the word because the Bible says the Spirit of God searches ye the deep things of God because the deep call it onto the deep your spirit calls on to the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost calls back to your spirit deep things deep things your spirit is hungry for something deeper. No wonder sometimes people do all the things they do and they're still not satisfied. You can only be satisfied when you're drinking from the well of life. When you're drinking from that deep well that never runs dry. You never thirst after this, Jesus says. When you are drinking from that well, you know, but running around looking for here or there, you know the kingdom is on the inside of you. And you begin to do amazing things wherever you go I hope this is helping somebody somebody here today hallelujah somebody here today is beginning to catch on that you are a mobile power station from headquarters you are a moving nuclear submarine just bulldozing everything in its way to get to where you ought to be you are a nuclear power station from heaven loaded with all of God on the inside of you and you are bound to do big things hallelujah there is a hunger that is calling there is a depth of God that is calling out to you but the question is how many people would want that you see people like to go to where everybody is but the Bible says straight is the gate that leads to life the way that leads to life is only a few can find it those few are the ones when they get a hold of it they begin to look like they are invincible you have been initiated to that today something new is happening on the inside of you hallelujah I see my friend my brother Abang welcome on board there is something on the inside of you that changes everything you do that means the way you operate your body now begins to function just the way God intends for it to be no more sickness in your body no more headaches no more eye problems your body is energized from the inside out you're coming with creativity beyond what everyone is around you is talking you know what you become really the average of your daily speech if you're used to talking small talk used to talking cheap stuff you become a cheap person but if you talk like royalty and like divinity you find it manifesting in your life and something amazing happens on the inside of you hallelujah are you hearing me you are a, you are a walking wonder you are a walking sign and a wonder to your world the world around you is blessed to have you It's blessed to see that you're there today my goodness I'm telling you I'm, I don't know what I can finish this today it says yeah the deep things of God he said for what man knows the thing of a man except the spirit of man which is in him so the things of God know it no man but the Spirit of God if you want to know what God knows you've got to have his spirit you can't say you know God except you have his spirit verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of war of the world but the spirit which is not from God which is of God that means that spirits origin the spirit in you its origin within you it's God seated on the inside of you and rolling and ruling and reigning over situations through you did you get that oh my goodness that's why we're talking about 
Today is Transformation Tuesday. I hope that this has blessed you. My good, I'm going to stop there for today because I know something amazing is going to happen. You need to digest this. I want to encourage those of you, you know, we are, we are here bringing these things to you. We want you to partner with us. Let me tell you something. Whenever you release a seed to become a partner with what you're hearing, you become, and you become a partaker of that same grace. You know the principle of the kingdom of God. Every time I hear a word, I want to release a seed in the direction and bless the one that I've heard it from. The Bible says, if somebody gives you spiritual nourishment, you also ought to give to them financial blessing. It tells you right there in the word. I'm not saying this because I want something from you. I'm saying this because I want to release something to you. That is the idea. So that as you connect, there's a release that comes to you. Paul said, it's not that I will have you know, seeds from you, but that fruit may abound to your account. The idea behind why we tell people, sow a seed, is because when you do that, you trigger something. Nothing leaves heaven until something leaves your hands. Whatever you do on earth is replicated in heaven. So when you start with a seed of love, God begins to pour more love in your direction. Whatever you make happen for somebody else, God will make happen for you. And I pray that today, hallelujah, today, it, I, I'm going to stop there today because I've been driving for a couple of hours all the way from New York. Very, very wet day. But I wanted to get to you today and tell you that you are loved. You are valued. You are more than who you think you are. You are an amazing sign and a wonder walking around us. Have you discovered that yet? The day you begin to understand this is the day you begin to walk in what you were designed to be. I said today, my message is very simple. Is the place and the point of discovery. The place is your spirit. The point is the word of God. The day you get a hold of this too is the day wonders begin to reign in you. And I'm going to pray for all of you that are watching today. This is Transformation Tuesday. This is Apostle Dr. Charles Nephan. Oh, well, I'm going to use all the titles. Hallelujah. Those things are no titles. They are function. We have a reason why we do that. I'm going to speak to you as an apostle of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy had planted, it's uprooted today. The Bible says we are called to uproot. We uproot those things. Hallelujah. Those things that have become anchors and have stopped you from launching out. I uproot them today in the name of Jesus. I uproot them today. Hallelujah. And when we uproot them, I plant new things into your spirit you are getting the right seeds that produce big results hallelujah and it's being watered by love by the word of god by the spirit of god it's being watered and it is growing and is producing all that god is whatever god has spoken to you when you receive it in your spirit it begins to produce what God says in that word. Hallelujah. Right now, I want to also invite all of you, as Sister Vincia Martins, God bless you. I see, oh my goodness, Jane, all of you that have come to join us today. I see <laughs> BGG, love you. <laughs> we see Pastor Lizzy, Brian, Apostle Maka, God bless you, okay? My goodness, I'm seeing all these wonderful people. Hallelujah. I bang. Hallelujah. I see Apostle Helen. God bless you. My goodness. Chris from Dexter, Iowa. Pretty, I love you. And uh, listen to me. I want all of you to go and uh, sow a seat today. And we're going to continue tomorrow on another daily dose of your daily boost. God bless you. And I will see you guys tomorrow.